Bad air. Dust. Wait, what? What does dust have to do with my air? Is it really that important? What can I do about it? Do I have your attention? Good. I'm Lisa Oster, your Norwex Independent Consultant. I imagine some of you are thinking, dust has nothing to do with the air we breathe. Or maybe you try to keep up with the dusting and so this cannot be an issue for you, right? Give me just a few minutes to give you something to think about. Let's jump in, but not into that pile of dust. What is dust really? We all know what it looks like, but what is it made of? Just dirt? Not really. U.S. News did a health study where they explained that 90% of homes contain up to 45 potentially harmful chemicals in their dust. These come from everyday products. That's horrifying enough. What kind of chemicals? Just a few are phthalates, flame retardants, and synthetic fragrances. That isn't all that's in dust. Dust is its own little biosphere with these chemicals, debris, dead skin cells, dead bugs, and dust mites. Yikes. Today.com did a study on dust and they stated an average home has 40 pounds of dust a year. Adding to the dust mite issue, those little guys multiply fast. Think about this. I hope you're not eating. Dust mites can average 20 droppings a day. True, they are very tiny, but still. Ew! And we are talking about the air you breathe. Now think about your carpet. A square yard can hold up to a thousand dust mites. Do the math. Do you see where we are going? Let's jump back to the air. Normally you think of dust as sitting stagnant on a surface. Have you ever noticed a sunbeam coming through the window? What do you see? Little particles of dust. Every time we walk, we are kicking up tiny bits or lots if it's really dusty. Dust also hides in many places. Dust can be lurking under furniture, blinds, inside rugs, drapes, your cushions, mattresses, air vents, kids' toys, we track it in from the outside with pesticides and who knows what else on our soles of our shoes, fans, pet toys, and many more. I think you're starting to get the picture of how important it really is. But let's dig deeper. New Scientist of June 2019 did a study on dust and its dangers. The ones at greatest risk are our babies, young children, as well as our pets older adults who may already be struggling with other health issues, and pregnant women. Dust is made up of very small particles, so it is easily inhaled, irritating allergies, possibly passing on viruses or potentially leading to infections. Going back to babies and toddlers and pets, they are smaller, so their bodies cannot handle as much as a healthy adult. They are closer to the ground, meaning they breathe in more than an adult does. But what about the pregnant women? They breathe and eat whatever it is, so does the baby. Those growing babies are at the greatest risk developmentally. It's something to be concerned about. These at-risk groups, many of them put things in their mouths. Take your cats and dogs, for example. They're walking around on everything and licking their paws and their bodies. Babies and toddlers do much the same. It is not a risk worth taking. In anyone, excess dust can lead to problems. Fertility issues, respiratory issues, reproductive system ish disorders, hormone disruptions, behavioral problems, and yes, even cancer. So what can be done? Understand it's going to be close to impossible to always be dust free, but you can make great progress. You want to clean your surfaces regularly and well. You want to use a quality vacuum with a good filter and keep those clean also. You want to wash your hands often 
and teach your children and remind them before, after the bathroom, before eating, before handling food, after petting animals, when they've played outside, when you've been out touching things in stores, wash your hands. It makes a big difference. And basic soap and water is often enough. Just avoid any with synthetic fragrances or antibacterial properties. <laughs> I use and recommend our dusting mitt. I rub this together, or have two, and rub them against each other. Just fold it in half and give it a good rub. This increases the static charge, which will then help these plush fab fibers to hold on to the dust better. I also love, love, love my mop and Enviro wand as a team because they can reach any surface that this mitt cannot get to. They can tackle it from where I walk, underneath things, all the way up to the highest corners of my house where the cobwebs like to hide. Easily tackles anything, including your dryer vent. And lastly, I love our mattress cleaner. Never use it on a memory foam mattress though. The enzymes can actually eat away at the foam over time. So question there. But think about anything else that's soft. You've got area rugs, maybe you've got carpets, maybe your other furniture that isn't memory foam, your cat trees, your pet toys, your children's stuffed animals, your pillows, your heavy bedding, the list can go on and on, car seats. So just think about all your soft surfaces. That's a great place for that mattress cleaner to go to work. It gets beneath what you see underneath the surface to eat away at the problems that we don't wanna really give too much thought to. These are just a few of my go-tos to keep dust at bay. And another reason that I love these products, I don't add any harsh chemicals. Just use dry or with water. And I'm not adding another layer to that chemical cocktail in our dust. Jumping back to my dusting mitt, you can use this dry, awesome for dust. And if you have one of those problem areas, maybe something sticky with dust or your window screens, fireplace screens, get it wet, makes easy cleanup. We can conquer dust. I know it's a lot, right? <laughs> but knowledge is power. If you already have a Norwex consultant, I'm sure she'd be happy to answer any questions for you or he, whichever the case may be and reach out to them and I'm sure they will be delighted to help you. If you do not have a consultant, I'm happy to help. I'm here in the US and so I look forward to partnering with you to create safe havens. Education is one of the top things I'm concerned with, so I hope you've benefited from this. If I can help in any way, please let me know. I'm happy to. Now, excuse me while I go dust my vents. Are you ready to?